Hey guys, it's Mei Mei, and look at this adorable card. Now, this is a Hallmark card. It was given to me, to me by Katie, who happens to be my son Thomas's girlfriend. And this is my Valentine's card, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's a weenie dog in a sweater. And on the inside, it says, I hope your birthday... I uh, hope your birthday's happy all day long. It says, I know it's not, totally not your birthday, but this card was too cute to not get it for you. Happy Valentine's. And I think it is adorable. And this guy is a magnet, which I didn't even realize until this morning when I was showing this card off at work to everybody. And the best part is right here, I have a little magnet board and that's where he's going to live right here looking at me all the time. I'm so excited about that. Okay. Why am I showing you this card? Because I had an idea. We have a stamp set called Trixie's Valentine, and it is Weenie Dogs. And I thought, what if we could take our little Weenie Dog and make a sweater out of Baker's Twine? And I think this is going to be cute, so I'm going to show you. I mean, I think that turned out cute. I'm going to show you how I did it, and we're going to make a little Weenie Dog sweater uh, card. Not Valentine card, but a sweater Weenie Dog card. So here we go. All right, so this is my little Weenie Dog. And I stamped this and then cut it on my um, Scan and Cut. So I'm gonna color it now. Um, I, normally I would color them before I cut them out on my scanning cut, but this time I didn't because I wasn't sure this was gonna work anyway. So I just cut like four or five and it did take me several tries to get it to look cute enough. So I'm gonna show you all the little things that I discovered. So I'm just gonna use a color pencil. Is this a watercolor? No, this is just a regular color pencil. I'm gonna use this and um, color this little dude brown and then we're going to put a little sweater on this little guy. I just think this is so cute and I have a plan for um, making the card with it. You guys might remember a while back I mentioned doing a series of cards, uh, make a fuss cards. This is one of those cards. This is a card that's going to take us a minute and it's going to be making a fuss so you won't, this is not something you'll make, you know, mass producing and truth of the matter, I would color all. I would color the little dog first before I cut it out, just to save you from the chance of like wrinkling it as you go. But like I said, I wasn't sure it was going to work, so I just went ahead and like stamped four of these and cut them out on my skin and cut so that I would have them ready to go. You can always fussy cut, no big deal. And I am not doing anything fancy. I'm just coloring because I think it's going to be cute enough without doing anything too fancy. Color, color, color. And then, while I've got this little guy, before I put any of the Baker's Twine on it, I'm gonna take a Sharpie. You can take any black marker you've got, but I just have this one here. And I'm gonna color the edges of this because it's not exactly perfect. And I wanna do this before I put the Baker's Twine on because while ago I discovered that if I do it with the twine on and I accidentally touch the twine, the fibers of the twine soak up the ink and you can really see it. So make sure you go ahead and do any of this kind of stuff before you put your little twine on. Okay, so about the twine while I'm doing this. I discovered that my stiffer baker's twine does not work as well. This works really good with those softer twines. You might get like from the Dollar Tree or Michael's sell some that are really soft. You know what I'm talking about? The ones we carry in the store are the... Um, uh, lawn, fawn, lawn trimmings, and I love those twines because they have some body to them, but they have a little too much body for wrapping around this little guy and keeping um, from bending it or making it kind of fold in on itself. All right, almost done with my little black uh, trimmings up here. Let's get this little leg done. This Baker's twine I'm using is actually some that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back. It comes in a three pack and it's pink. You can use any color, obviously. The first thing I did like I said, I tested this to see how to make this work the best. I cut six pieces of Baker's twine that is a little less than two inches long each, okay? I'm gonna take my art glitter glue and I'm just gonna run some right here on the front to start with, just in this little front section, right under the ear, okay? What I discovered was the way this little puppy is laid out, it's kind of hard to make it look like the sweater wraps all the way around. So I have to do this little piece in the front to give it that feel. So I'm just sticking these pieces right into that glue. Now three pieces will cover this area, but when I was doing my samples, I discovered that wrapping the twine double on itself was cuter. It made it look more sweatery, made it look thicker. So I'm going ahead and doing um, six pieces. So there's my first three. I'm going to come around to the back, add some more art glitter glue to the back, and lay those pieces down. 
And all you really have to be concerned about here is that the uh, twine goes past the first the first little legs. The reason for that, let me get that to lay down real quick. Can't do it and talk at the same time, apparently. Um, the reason for that is that's where you'll start wrapping around. So as long as your twine comes here, it'll hide inside of what you wrap the rest of the way. All right, now what I'm gonna do is take some more glue. I'm gonna lay it on top of this. And I'm gonna put three more strands down just directly on top of what I've already done. Again, you don't have to, but like I said, once I wrapped it twice, it looked funny to have a thin piece at the neck and a thick piece in the back. You'll be able to see that once we get going. I didn't get that piece where it goes. Let me move it. There we go. It also looks a little cozier this way because it looks chubby. Like they have a little chubby cable knit sweater on. Can you imagine if you did this in like blue twine for a little boy or red at winter time, you know, at Christmas time, that'd be cute. All right, so stick that down and now I'm gonna stick these guys down to the back. Same thing right on top. You do wanna stack them on top because that's what gives you the thickness because you want that to look like a chubby sweater. I'm telling y'all, this is a make a fuss card. I would not do this for a, a whole, if I needed like, 12 of these, I would not do it. <laughs> it would be too much work. All right, so there's the little like sweater part for around the neck. I've zoomed in a little bit for this part. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue on, let's put it on the back side. I'm gonna put it back here, just like so. And I'm gonna start my twine back here. I am not cutting it off of the roll. I'm gonna leave it on the roll, because as I wrap, I really don't know exactly how much I'm gonna need. I am gonna let that sit there for a second and kind of get a little stable. My, your fingers will have glue all over them. Don't worry, that's kind of the fun part. Then I'm just gonna start wrapping. Now let me show you. I'm wrapping right behind his first little um, set of, his first, yeah, set of feet. I thought that sounded funny, but it's right. Right behind his first little set of feet. And let me get it started a little bit. I'm just wrapping it where it's touching, hiding all that other um, twine that we just wrapped around his neck. And then let me show you, I'm just gonna hold here. See how it's not covering real well right there? Don't worry, we're gonna do that in just a second. We're gonna come back to it. So I'm gonna keep going. Just wrap it up. You can stop wherever you want to. I think it's funny to have the sweater go as far out as it will go. Cause um, I don't know, if you guys have weenie dogs, finding sweaters that fit them all the way, it's kind of hard. Cause most of the time the sweaters are fitted for around the chest and not for the backs of their legs. <laughs> so then I'm gonna come back and wrap it on top. This is why I said you needed to do the two strands at the neck, because when you do this part, it looks a little funny if you don't do it. I just think this is cute and I love to use Baker's twine. So I thought this would be a cute idea. Might not be for everybody, but it's fun. Again, it's a make a fuss card. You're not gonna make these in assembly line more than likely. Of course you could sit down and watch the Olympics and do this, this would be fun. All right, so here's where I'm at. I need to wrap a little more here to get into that little area. And now that's how my sweater's gonna look. All right, and then on the back side, I just need to glue the free edge down. Little art glitter glue in there. Pull this down into it. And then our little puppy is sweatered up and I can trim this away. Sweatered up, so cute. Okay, I know it's a stretch, but I think it's adorable. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it on a card. So I'm gonna use this stamp set. It's called All About You. I think it will be perfect for where I'm wanting to use this on the card. And I'm using my Fiskars platform because I've already laid this out. And the sentiment I'm using says, remember you can do it. Cause I have an idea to make this little puppy have to really do some work on this card. So I'm gonna ink this up in some black ink. The paper I'm using is supposed to look swirly and cold. Um, it's from the I Love Winter collection. So it's that blue swirly background. I think this will be cute. It may not work out great, but we'll see. It's in my head, I hope it works. All right, so I'm gonna do this in this area, but before I press it down, I wanna double check cause this little puppy's gonna come down here Yep, and this is gonna go right there. So let me stamp that down. That's what I like about these presses. You can sit it there and wait, and then when you're ready, you can press it down. And I'm pressing that really good because I wanna make sure it transfers. Oh, it's perfect. Remember that you can do it. And then here's the plan. The plan is to put this little weenie dog down here. 
and my aunt gave me this punch a long time ago. This is a balloon. She got this for me because she had one and I loved it and she gave this to me. And I wanna punch some balloons to go up here that look like he or she is holding them and like, you know, you can do it. You can hold those balloons or what have you. I think it'll be cute. So let me pop some, or pop some balloons. Let me punch some balloons out. I'm gonna use silver baker's twine. It's actually silver and white on these little balloons. And I'm just gonna tie um, just little knots at the bottom of these little guys. I tell you what, let's do it the easy way. I'm gonna make the knot first and then put the balloon into it. I think that'll be easier. And then that is gonna be what is gonna to connect to his little mouth. And I wanted to do a bunch of balloons because I wanted to look like he had a whole bunch of balloons in his mouth. And this way he will. Just to remind you that you can do it. If this little guy can do it, you can do it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna trim this away, this excess. And there's our first little balloon. And I'm just gonna kind of measure the length by doing this, and that should be plenty. And so I'm gonna tie all the little balloons like this, and then we'll start placing them. I did five balloons, did I say that? Yeah, I think I did. Got my balloons ready. Now it's time to put some foam squares on these guys. This and my pokey tool. All right, so I'm gonna put some foam squares on the back of the puppy. And really, you kind of have to do the foam square because of the baker's twine, because if not, he won't lay flat on the card. So I'm gonna do little foam squares like that. So that'll get him popped up. And then I'm gonna do some on the backs of the balloons. Just a couple. It's hard to decide what's the back when you flip them over, all the pages are so cute. But I want the knots in the front, so that's how I remember what the back was. I think I'm gonna place the balloons first so I can kind of know where they're gonna go. And I want them to kind of wrap around the sentiment like that. Um, how far out? This is where you have to kind of be creative and kind of move things around a little bit. And I don't mind if they overlap because balloons would, you know, out in the wind, they definitely would. I kind of want to place them something like this, kind of like they're almost getting away. Let me start with this little pink one and we'll come back. So I don't want to wrap it too far around the sentiment because that would look a little bit odd, I think. So I'm going to let it kind of go like this, almost like the wind caught it. And then the string, I'll bring back around to the little mouth of the puppy like that. Let's do the next one. Kind of stagger them. I love this balloon punch. Thank you, Aunt Nita. It's so cute and makes things so easy. You don't have to use this balloon punch. You might have a die cut that you could use, you know, or a... Um, Cricut cut file, or you may have a punch. Who knows? You may have this one in your stash and want to use it. Okay, now I got to deal with all these strings. <laughs> so let's gather them up. And I did want to use the baker's wine because I wanted it to be kind of thick, you know, kind of like obvious. You know what I'm saying? So I might bring them in like this. That looks kind of cool. I can always tack them. I don't want them to look super tight either because I want it to look like the little puppy's really kind of struggling with it because remember, you can do it. So I'm thinking something like this. I think I'm gonna glue, uh, put a little bit of sticky tape right here to stick the little tails in and put the puppy on top of it. Or do I need them to come out of his mouth? Let me look. So after playing around with it for a minute, I've decided to put the strings under him. I think it's better that way, or her. It could be a her puppy. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, sticky tape right there to hold that down and get some from over here. Just a little bit right here. This will hide behind the puppy. But I was going to put them on top, but it just didn't work right. So I'm kind of playing with the strings. Then I'm going to bring them all together, put them into that tape, just like so. Press that down. And I'm going to try to get them kind of close together, as close as I can for when he or she, I should say she because she's wearing this pink, when she lands on top of it, it kind of looks like it's coming out of her mouth. So that's what we're trying to do. That is cute. That's a lot of balloons for that little guy, huh? All right, let's peel this off and stick our little weenie dog down. This would be cute with any of the critters you might have in your stash. I think this is a cute idea. So I'm gonna bring this up so it's kind of like coming out of its mouth. Press that down, press that down. And I'm gonna tack this with some glue so that stays. And I'm gonna trim this at the bottom. And I'm thinking I wanna trim them kind of even. Maybe not, let's just see what we can do. I'm gonna 
take my scissors and see what we get here. And if I don't like them very even, I can always come back and trim some less. That, maybe trim this one a little bit. You know, hold it, there we go, that's better. All right, so there is the card front, like so. There was a couple other things I did, but I'm gonna put the card together first and then show you that. So here is the card front for the card base. And I had a little bit of sticky tape showing out the side of his little mouth. I just rolled it up with my finger underneath and let it help hold that twine down again too. So just pushed it underneath the little puppy dog. Then I'm gonna place this onto my card base. It's an A2 size card base. Just rub that in. And now I'm gonna come back and tack these strings down a little bit just so they don't flop into our sentiment when we, when we mail it or hand it out to someone. So just a little glue here and there. The glue will go away, it'll hide itself. But this way we'll know that they're not gonna run off from us. Now I also took my crystal glaze from Nouveau and I thought it'd be cute after, almost forgot, after I did white dots in this puppy's eyes, I didn't do that on my sample one. I thought, you know what, it really needed it. So I'll put some little white dots in this puppy's eye that just really wakes them up. We need to let that dry for a second, and then we're gonna use the crystal glaze. But I wanted to put it on the puppy's nose because my puppies all have little wet noses, you know? Anytime they give you kisses, you get wet nose kisses from them. So I'm gonna put some crystal glaze on his nose and also on his eyes as soon as that gel um, ink dries because I don't want it to get, I don't want it to smear inside of that clear. Now, since I've made the card, I have decided this will look good. I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to um, crystal glaze like a little highlight on the balloons. I was going to do the whole balloon, but I think this will be cute and I won't have to wait on that to dry and I won't take a chance of it warping the paper. So I'm just doing a little clear kind of dollop up there in the corner and his eyes are ready now. And I'm just going to need to let all of that dry and this card is ready to go. I keep scooting out of camera. Sorry, I'm trying to be zoomed in, but there it is. Our little sweater weenie dog completely inspired by this little Hallmark weenie dog, which is adorable from Katie. Katie, thank you so much for that. I'm loving it. I have got to get the little glue dots off. Speaking of that, I want to show you, if you make a card like this and you want to put magnets onto the little image that you send, all that was done here is these are just little removable glue dots. So now the magnets are totally um, clean to use onto a magnetic surface. So you might think about that in your card sending too. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. A little Trixie's Valentine. That's the name of the stamp set this little guy comes from. And I think it's cute. All right, guys, have a great Saturday. If you make one of these, I want to see it. You can head over to our Facebook group called May May Made It, and so did I. Or you can share it on our customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this idea. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.